Okay, here are the ingredients for the baked escarole dish. We have three medium-sized heads of escarole that have been rinsed. There was a lot of dirt in these. And not really dry, just kind of leave a little bit of the moisture on them. Shake it, shake it off, but don't, don't salad spin them. We have cooking spray, seasoned breadcrumbs, all good olive oil, garlic powder, pepper, salt, some Reggiano Parmigiano, a deep dish, deep, deep baking dish, and some aluminum foil. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is spray the interior of the baking dish over the sink. Try and get it on the sides and the bottom, give it a good spray. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put a layer of escarole down on the bottom. And you don't have to be too fancy, just kind of put a, put a layer of escarole in. Don't pile it up too high, but it's okay to have a, you know, a good layer in there. Just, the big ones you might want to break up or break in half. They'll shrink down quite a bit, but you don't want any of these big, big pieces. Okay. Okay, that's good for the first layer. And next we just want to put a little breadcrumb on it. All right. A little bit of salt. Not too much because you're going to have more as the layers go on. A little bit of garlic powder. Again, not too, too much. Just a little bit. A nice black pepper. Parmesan cheese. All right, and then you just continue doing that. Pretty simple. Okay. And put a drizzle of olive oil. You don't have to be too shy on that. Okay, and just continue. A little bit of breadcrumbs. Salt. Pepper. Just continue doing that.
And that's it. I'm going to cover it with aluminum foil, put it in a 375, 400 degree oven for about 15, 20 minutes, and let it shrink down. Okay, it's been another 10 minutes, so 30 minutes total at 375, covered in foil. I'm bringing this one, it's Christmas time, so we're going over my brother's for Christmas, so I'm going to put another layer of foil on top, and bringing it over to his house to... Hopefully he has room in his oven so that we can crisp it up on top. But it's pretty much done now. We'll see in a little bit. Okay, we're going to take the tin foil off and we're going to just uh, crisp it up a little bit. And mix it up. Oh, that looks good. Just a little crisp on top and we're all set. Okay, let's get it in the oven. Okay, so it's been about four or five minutes under the uh, under the broiler, under the salamander, and boy, does that look good! Look at that. That's your. That's it. That's big scuttle. Uh, 